Welcome back to Hot Topics TV, y'all. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. If the topic is hot, you know we're on it. A 21-year-old man named Eugene Luis Jacques has been taken into custody and accused of the murder of Beauty Couch, a 22-year-old influencer known for her Instagram roller skating content and her place on TikTok as well. Stay informed about the latest developments discovered, intrigued facts, and gain valuable insights as we move into the story. Eugene Louise Jacques is a 21-year-old individual who was arrested and charged with the murder of Beauty Couch, a 22-year-old Instagram roller skater influencer. Beauty Couch's body was discovered near her burning car in Austell, Georgia. Eugene Louise Jacques was identified as Beauty's boyfriend and at the time of her tragic death. Authorities apprehended Eugene in Louisiana, specifically in St. Tammany, Tammany Parish on August 26. This arrest came after the Cobb County Police Department's Major Crimes Unit started investigating the homicide based on a request from the Austell Police Department. Eugene was taken into custody as he was traveling through St. Tammany Parish. The arrest of Eugene Louise Jacques was seen as a significant development in the case as he was believed to be connected to the murder of Beauty Couch. The authorities cooperation across state lines with Sheriff Randy Smith emphasizing their commitment to assisting Georgia law enforcement demonstrated the seriousness to which they pursued justice in this case. The tragic event unfolded with beauty couch remains were found near her burnt out car after Austell Fire responded to a bushfire on August 23rd. Following this discovery, an investigation was launched and it was learned that Beauty Couch had not been seen since the previous morning. The subsequent search in the area led to the grim discovery of a body that matched the description of Beauty Couch in a wooded area. The investigation into this incident marked it as a cause of foul play. The authorities urged anyone with relevant information to come forward and contact the Cobb County Police tip hotline. The details surrounding Eugene Luis Jacques' involvement in Beauty Couch's murder and the motive behind the crime would likely emerge as the legal proceedings progress. So, what we know so far is that Eugene Luis Jacques, who was 21 years old, was a star football player and he was the boyfriend of Beauty Couch. A few weeks ago, Beauty Couch made headlines when she made the news. So how it all happened? Well, there was a fire that was seen. A brush fire deep in the woods where no one really goes. And the people who lived in that area saw the blaze. And it was around the same time that the fire the wildfires spread through Maui and many people lost their homes. So these people in Georgia, they were afraid. They thought that fire could possibly spread and get to their residence. So they quickly called the local authorities. The local authorities came 
They went into that desolated section of bushes. They put the fire out. But when they got there, they realized that the fire had started from someone burning a car. The car fit the description of the vehicle belonging to Beauty Couch. Matter of fact, they saw the license plate. Because although the car was badly burnt out, the license plate on that vehicle was ran through the system and it came back to an address where Beauty Couch lived. And they went and they investigated and they contacted uh, family members of the individual only to find out that she had not been seen or heard from in the last 24 hours, which was unusual so they went back and they searched the area around where the car was found burning and sure enough not too far from the burning car there lied beauty couch 22 year old body dead the boyfriend of famed instagram influencer beauty couch has now been arrested and he's been charged with murder after her body was found near her burnt out car in Georgia, he fled the state. He was on his way. Well, he was on his way. I wouldn't say he fled the state. He's 21 years old as well. He is listed as Eugene Luis Jacques, 21 years old of Naples, Florida. And he has now officially been charged with murder. He has been charged with aggravated assault as well. He was apprehended in Louisiana by the St. Tammany Parish Sheriff's Proactive Enforcement Unit and is now awaiting extradition back to Georgia. So yes, he fled the state as he was on the run and he became a number one suspect. And they were hot on his trail. So they started looking for places he might frequent, places he might have relatives or close friends, which led them to where he was traveling. The authorities said, let this message be that we do not take kindly to people who think that they can commit a crime elsewhere and try to hide in St. Tammany Parish, said Sheriff Randy Smith. We were happy to help our counterparts in Georgia by locating the suspect and taking him into custody so he may face justice and Miss Couch's family can begin to receive closure this difficult time. Oh man, you know it's sad she was a pretty good skater. She was not somebody that was rail thin or slim built. And for the acrobatics that she did on her skates, you would think that you would have to be athletically built, rail thin. She was a thick girl, a voluptuous young lady as well, right? And many people were drawn to her. According to the sheriff's office, Louise Jacques was indeed her boyfriend officials have not released the motive yet as to why he did what he did couch who's 22 years old was an hostel based instagram influencer known primarily for her roller skating and her dance videos now the college student had roughly 150,000 followers on the photo sharing app and she recently launched her own roller skating classes, which we've been told that it took off. And she had a lot of people that wanted her to teach them how to roller skate. She was a sweet girl. She never bothered nobody. She never bothered nobody. She was a friend to everybody, said her mother, Kimberly Couch. I've seen her videos. She was a beautiful young lady. 
she did have a lot of people, a lot of comments on her videos. And, you know, when you're young and you do this Instagram stuff, social media stuff, not just Instagram, but anywhere you can go from public to private chat, things are bound to happen. I did notice the progression of Beauty Couch's videos as she started out seeming pretty shy, uh about showing her body and being sexual, you know, with her moves and whatnot. But as things progressed, I guess she gained confidence and she started becoming quite salacious and moving and gyrating quite in a sexy manner, so to speak. And I don't know if guys started sliding into her DM. I don't know if she, one of the requests that she got to teach them how to skate was actually men trying to date her instead of her teaching them how to skate. Right. So you put up your classes online and you said, okay, I can teach people how to skate. And then you have clients. And then these clients, some of them might have a ulterior motive. Oh, I just want her. I don't really want to learn how to skate. I just want to get close to her. I want to holler at her. And I don't know if her boyfriend must have discovered some type of conversation going on with some individual in her inbox, which, you know, you could say she was cheating or she had intentions of cheating and he took it in that manner. Regardless of what happened, let's make it clear that there was no reason for him to do what he did. Now, let's say allegedly. Because we were not there and the police, although they have identified him as their primary suspect, he still has not been proven in a court of law to be guilty and he has not admitted so far that he did take her life. Now, in an initial statement, the Cobb County Police Department noted that based on the initial scene investigation, foul play was suspected. They actually had asked anyone with information regarding this incident to contact the Cobb County Police. The fire department first learned from Beauty Couch's family that the car they found had been driven by her, who had not been seen since the previous morning. So the police then returned to the area where the vehicle was found because they were like, well, if we found the car there, believe it or not. When they went there first, they actually found the burning car. Of course, it's on fire. It's easy to see smoke way in the air. The neighbors are calling about about it. They put the fire out and they left. They left to go investigate the license plate address. After getting information from her relatives that she had been missing since the previous day, morning time, which was unusual, they went back to the area. Now, when they went back to the area, they searched surrounding areas for where the car was found, and they found her body in the wood lines. Days later, on August 25th, the St. Tamiami Tamani Parish Sheriff's Office identified several areas where Luis Jacques might be staying, and around 4.40 p.m., detectives spotted him driving on Oak Harbor Boulevard. The police pulled him over and he was taken into custody without incident. Of course, he will be extradited back to Georgia where he will face charges. Hopefully, he will tell why he did it so there can be some type of understanding and some closure for Beauty Couch's family to this horrible story. I don't know what else to say. Young ladies, be careful. Be careful who you date and call boyfriends. Some of these guys are, we don't really want to call them tender dick, but some of these guys are very emotional creatures and some do have a possessive personality. So it makes no sense for us to get on social media and preach how you should never do anything to a female or whatever because they're not listening. 
It is you, the female, who have to protect yourself. And hopefully, you choose right. Because nobody comes to you in the beginning of a relationship and says, Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm very interested in you. And one day I'm going to kill you if I think you're cheating on me. Or if I can't have you, no one else can. Nobody comes to you like that. Everybody is charming in the beginning. Everybody is handsome and you're fascinated with them. And new love is exciting. And then before you know it, you're in a situation where you're either faring for your life or you're about to lose your life. So take this with a grain of salt. I hope there's closure for Beauty Couch's family. Such a vibrant young lady. Such a vibrant person to lose her life at such a young age when she had so much potential. Hey man, sad part of life. My condolences goes out to her family and I do hope that full justice is served. I'll catch y'all on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.